What's up, everybody? This is Eat a Profit here to do another video, and this video is going to be pound for pound rankings, the top 10 fighters in the UFC. And uh, yeah, that's what this video is going to be about. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, at number one, coming in, we have Kamaru Usman. Uh, now I'm going to say, man, I had a real tough time deciding whether I wanted to put Kamaru Usman at number one or put him at number two and put the number two person on the list at number one uh, because they're both so good and so dominant. And I just want to say, too, I should have said at the beginning, my pound for pound list is going to be different than any other list you've ever seen. And you're probably not going to agree with how I have these people placed, because, like I said, nobody else has a list like mine or have the people placed like I have them placed on the list. So, yeah, number one, we have Cameron Usman. Uh, the reason why I went ahead and decided to leave him in the number one spot is because he just defended his title against one of the tougher guys in the UFC, uh, Colby Covington. And for that reason, I went ahead and left him at number one. Coming in at number two, we have Valentina Shevchenko, the 125-pound uh, woman's champion. Uh, she just submitted, uh, I can't remember, I think it was Lon Murphy not that long ago. And uh, a lot of people have Amanda Nunes over Valentina Shevchenko on their list, but not on my list. And the reason why I have Valentina Shevchenko at number two is because I, I feel that uh, she's just faced a lot stiffer competition than Amanda Nunes has. You know, to put things in perspective, Valentina Shevchenko just defeated Jessica Andrade two fights ago, submitted her in the second round. Jessica Andrade, just to let y'all know, was the woman who suplexed Rose Nama Juniors into oblivion and took the title from her. And Amanda Nunes has never faced anybody the level of Jessica Andrade. Not one of her opponents has been that tough and that dangerous. And that's why I had Valentina Shevchenko, you know, above Amanda Nunes on my list. In fact, to be perfectly honest with y'all, I personally believe that Valentina Shevchenko is the best pound for pound mixed martial artist in the UFC. I think she's the best pound for pound fighter out of men and women in the UFC. I mean, she's just totally complete in every aspect of her uh, fight game. I mean, there's no weaknesses at all. And uh, like I said, to be honest, she could very easily become the number one fighter on this list in the future. Moving on, coming in at number three, we have Israel Adesanya, the middleweight king. Uh, he has a fight coming up against Robert Whittaker sometime in 2022. Um, and yeah, I know he had an unsuccessful attempt at light heavyweight against Jan Blahovich, but you know, he's still uh, undefeated at middleweight and he's still a champ. And uh, he's defended the title several times. So for that reason, Israel Adesanya comes in at number three. At number four, we have the lioness, Amanda Nunes. And yeah, you know, uh, I love Amanda Nunes to death. Don't get me wrong. I just feel that the level of competition that she has had to face is just not up to the same level as pretty much all of the other champions in the UFC. Uh, with that said, even if the competition was stiffer, I don't think it would make a difference. I still think Amanda Nunes would, you know, still be the chat and still beat everybody that they put in front of her. But the fact is, her level of competition just is not that tough, which is why she's at number four instead of at number two or number one. Uh, she does have a fight coming up against Julia Pena uh, next month uh, in December. At number five, we have Thug Rose, Rose Nama Yunes. Uh, now, the reason why I have Rose at number five is because, like a lot of other people on the list, she's a new champion. But she did defend her title once uh, just this past weekend. And uh, even though it was a split decision, you know, it was against one of the toughest people, one of the toughest fighters in the entire UFC who could easily herself be on this pound for pound list. And that's Zhang Welly. You know, uh, just to uh, put things in perspective for Rose Nama Yunus, she's the only fighter who has knockout, first round knockout victories over 
Joanna Jerzchek, and Zhang Welly. Think about that. That's pretty effing impressive if you think about it. So Rose Nama Junis comes in at number five. Uh, and I'm not sure who, you know, I don't know. I don't think they have anybody scheduled for her to fight as of yet. Uh, a lot of people are thinking it'll probably be Carla Esparza, but, you know, we'll have to wait and see. At number six, we have Glover Teixeira. Now, I know a lot of y'all are thinking, man, Glover Teixeira just won a title. Why is he on the list? Well, Glover Teixeira has been on an amazing run, and that run just happened to include Jan Blahovich and winning the light heavyweight championship of the world. And that's why Glover Teixeira is coming in at number six, because he has absolutely devastated his competition. And I'm talking some really, really badass, tough-ass guys like Tiago Santos, Anthony Smith, Jan, and uh, he stopped all of them. Uh, and yeah, Glover is a beast, and that's why he's number six on his list. You know, depending on how things go, he could easily move up the list in the future. Coming in at number seven, I have Charles Oliveira, the current undisputed light, lightweight champion of the world. Uh, Charles Oliveira is also on an incredible run, and his run just happened to include beating Michael Chandler for the lightweight uh, championship of the world. Uh, Charles Oliveira will be facing Dustin Poirier next month in December. And uh, depending on what happens with that fight, Dustin Poirier could easily end up replacing Charles Oliveira on the list. If I had a top 20 list, uh, Dustin Poirier would definitely be on that list, as well as Colby Covington and uh, several others. Let's see. Coming in at number eight, we have Francis Ngannou. Um, I have Francis lower on the list than what he probably normally would be, only because he's been champion for a while, ever since he beat Steve Dave Miocic, but he hasn't defended the title once. In fact, they had to have an interim title fight between Cyril Gaon and Derek Lewis to determine an interim champion because Francis hadn't defended the title. And that's why Francis is lower on the list than what he normally would be. Now, Francis and Ghana will be defending his undisputed heavyweight title against Cyril Gunn um, in January. And depending on how that fight goes, Cyril Gunn may end up replacing him on the list. Or if, it, or if Francis and Ghana beats him impressively, Francis will more than likely move up a few spots on the list. Coming in at number nine, we have Brandon Moreno. Brandon Moreno was also a new champion. He's the new flyweight champion, having uh, defeated Davison Figueroa. Um, he's a, he has a rematch coming up against Davison, and I'm not sure when it is. Uh, but Brandon Moreno uh, has looked, you know, like yeah, he looked good in the first fight against Davison and stopped him in the second fight. So he definitely, you know, if he beats him again, you know, uh, it's definitely going to be a... You know, he'll, he'll probably advance even further up the list because Brandon Moreno looks like he's the real deal. Now, the only thing is the flyweight division is not as stacked and it's not as consistent. And to be honest, it's hard to keep up with it sometimes. But Brandon Moreno is still an awesome fighter and uh, deserves his uh, top 10 spot here at number nine. Coming in at number 10, and I know this one is going to be controversial. It may get me a lot of negative feedback, but it is what it is. Uh... At number 10, we have Alexander Volkanovsky, the current featherweight champion of the world. Uh, the reason why I have him so low on the list, and don't get me wrong, before I even say that, anybody on this top 10 list is an awesome fighter, is a great fighter, is an amazing fighter. That means that these are the top 10 best fighters in the entire UFC. So really, regardless of your placement on the list, it means you're a hell of a fighter. But with that said, the reason why Alexander Volkanovsky is so low, is the, has the last spot on the list, number 10, is because all of his fights have been raised to close. When he won the fight, when he when he beat uh, Max Holloway for the title, I thought it was raised to close. When he defended against Max Holloway, once again, I thought it was raised to close. A lot of people thought Holloway won the fight. I, I don't even know. It just was a weird fight to try to... Uh, Judge, to be honest, um, and even against uh, Brian Ortega, you know, he uh, it was like a razor close fight again. He had it's like all of his fights 
or just raise a close. He just hasn't dominated anybody. You know, so well, not since he won the title anyway. And uh that's why he's so low on the list, because if you really think about it, Cameron Usman has several stoppages. Valentina Shevchenko has uh, several stoppages. Israel Adesanya has several stoppages. Amanda Nunes has several stoppages. Rose Nama June has just defeated one of the toughest women who ever competed in MMA when she knocked out uh, Zhang Welly to become the champion. Uh, Glover Teixeira has stopped everybody he's fought recently. Charles Oliver has stopped most of the people he's fought recently, knocked out or TKO'd Michael Chandler in the uh, second round to become the lightweight champion. Uh, Cyril Gaon, well, I'm, I'm saying Cyril Gaon. Francis Ngannou just uh, knocked out Steve Miocic to become the champion. Brandon Moreno stopped Davis and Figueroa to become the champion. You see what I'm saying? Everybody else on the list has stoppages. And Alexander Volkanovsky has none, which is why he's number 10 on the list. And don't get me wrong, he's fought some, you know, Brian Ortega and, and uh, Max Holloway, uh, as tough as they come, and two of the toughest opponents, you know, that you could possibly have to face. But, you know, so are a lot of these other people. So is Kobe Covington and Gilbert Burns and... <laughs> You know, Zhang Welly and Paulo Costa and all these other people, these, these other champions have stopped. So, you know, before I get a lot of bad feedback or hate chat or hate text, you know, or hate comments, I should say, that that's the reason why Alexander is so low on the list. Because, <coughs> excuse me, all of his fights are incredibly close. Now, if you notice, everybody on the list is a champion. Now, there are 11 champions in the UFC, but only 10 spots. So somebody didn't make the list. And the champion that didn't make the list is the Bantamweight champion, Al Jermaine Sterling. I don't feel if anybody had to get dropped off for the list, I felt it would be him. Now, I also didn't put Peter Yarn on the list as well because of the fact that he rarely stops anybody. And the way he lost his title was absolutely ridiculous. So I also felt he didn't deserve to be on the list. You know, now that could change when those two eventually fight and whoever wins, if they win in impressive fashion, more than likely one of those two guys will end up on the list and somebody else will probably end up coming off. But as it stands right now, neither one of those two I felt deserved to be on the list. And this is my top 10. I'll just go through it one more time. Number one, Cameron Usman. Number two, Valentina Shevchenko. Number three, Israel Adesanya. Number four, Amanda Nunes. Number five, Thug Rose, Rose Namajunas. Number six, Glover Teixeira. Number seven, Charles Oliveira. Number eight, Francis Ngannou. Number nine, Brandon Moreno. And number 10, Alexander Volkanovsky. That's my top 10 pound for pound best fighters in the UFC. You know, if you have any agreements, disagreements, any comments at all, you know, by all means, please leave them for me. I'll, I will respond. I promise you. Uh, please like the video. Please share the video if you feel so inclined. And please, please subscribe to the channel. I, I love getting new members to the family. I love all of my family, you know, as they can probably attest. You know, thank you for watching the video. I love you. I love you all. Everybody stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay strong. Peace.